Hey, 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 people, what's going on? Hope everybody had a good week. Hope you're healthy. Hope you finish all the projects that you started out to do this week. Whatever it is, if you started a business, hope the grand opening went well. Uh, hope you're happy. Hope the food was It wasn't any deaths in your family. I just thank you for tuning in to Drake's Place. We're going to get into this, but we're going to pay some bills first. And I want to thank Ann's Cakes by the Pound, one of the baddest bakers in the United States, in my opinion. Uh, you can go to the bottom of the screen or look at the credits. You can uh, give them a call. Ant's Cakes by the Pound at 707-656-6801. You name the cake, this brother can bake it. Go to his website. As a matter of fact, go to his Instagram and you can... See all the beautiful work he has. Subscribe to the show. Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you like. Um, subscribe to the show. That's all about numbers. Uh, also, I want to celebrate myself with my brand of uh, Sir Reginald Drake wine. Go to my website, and that <clears throat> website will pop up at the bottom of the screen. People like me, the people who look like me, I need for you to support me because people who don't look like me are really supporting me. And I don't understand that people that look like me don't support me. I don't know what that's about. But uh, this is Reginald Drake. It's wine, Pinot Grigio. If you go to the website, you'll see the history of how all this came to, to fruition. And I think the family who, who uh, taught me this wine business, my father, and my my uncle and I have just taken it to the next level. My father now today is 91 years old. My uncle Curtis is going to be with the Lord, but these are the men who I watched make wine and, and this is what I'm doing now. My own brand of Prino Grigio wine. Support me. Again, the people who don't look like me, I don't understand why you don't support me. Uh, if you like to support the show, uh, you can support the show at PayPal Me Management Drake. That's PayPal Me Management Drake. <clears throat> Excuse me, PayPal Me Management Drake to support the show. You can email us anytime with suggestion topics at Drake's Place 63 at yahoo.com. You can call the show every Sunday, 3 o'clock. Ohio time, but it will be 12 o'clock San Francisco time at 216-210-5421. Uh, the phone is right there. Call anytime, get a part of, or be a part of the show. We switched the taping time on, on back to Sundays instead of Wednesday nights. It just doesn't work for everybody. So we're back shooting every Sunday. 3 o'clock Ohio time, 12 o'clock California time. Uh, and again, support Ants Cakes by the Pound. And please go to my website, which is the, um, the link is at the bottom, or the information is at the credits at the bottom of the screen or at the end of the show. You can pull it up. But anyway, real quick, we're going to talk about this but let's, we're, let me get to the email that this one brother sent this is sent on January the 28th thank you my brother but we're we're, we're talking men and ladies I need you to, to listen to this it's really to the men you've been dating this chick for one year six months into the relationship she got her hand out. I need financial help with my car. I need financial help with my mortgage. I need uh, help with my rent in my apartment. I need financial help to pay a light bill. I need support to get groceries. I need uh, support from you, Big Daddy, for my cell phone. So my question, gentlemen, you've been kicking it for one year. 
six months into the relationship, she was comfortable enough to come to you. Not every other month, but quite a bit after that for financial help. Now, I'm, I'm going to go to the email that this brother sent me, and brother uh, Robert is his name. Thank you for the email. And this is what his email that was sent to me. That's kind of funny. I'm gonna just read what it said. One year into the relationship, I mean, you've been dating for one year. You've been kicking it for a young wear for one year. That's your friend for one year. But six months in the relationship, she was comfortable enough to start begging for financial help. That's kind of funny. You all having sex? She's taking care of you sexually as well as mentally and emotionally. Do you think she's helped you if the shoe was on the other foot? Can you afford to help her, gentlemen? What does she need help with? Are you spending time at her place? Or is her feet always under your table? Interesting. That means if she's at your house all the time, or are you spending time at her place? Do you understand the nature of your relationship now? Again, do you understand the nature of where the relationship is now? So, 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 gentlemen, I'm talking to you men. Six months after you guys been kicking it, she was comfortable enough to ask you for some money to pay a bill, pay a cell phone bill, help her with her kids, daycare, even though these ain't your damn kids. Than somebody else's kids. Me personally, I'm not finna pay no woman that I just met in a year help them pay their kids daycare and she had a baby by some other man. I don't care what that relationship, I don't care if he's not paying you nothing. If you got a man and he, you got kids by him, every fucking man in the United States need to pay child support. If you saying I don't want the white man in your business, then you the fool. You need a check. I will tell you now, man, don't you, if these kids are not yours, don't you spend no money for no damn daycare. They not your kids. Don't you ever do that. That's what I'm going to start off, Brother Robert. Thank you for the email. <clears throat> I'm not doing it. Not no, not no daycare. You kicking? No. Those are not my kids. You lay down with this man. That's between you and him. You need to figure that deal out. I'm not helping with that. But now I'm going to be stupid enough after six months if we really cool and I'm feeling her and she's at my house, like the brother said, uh, she spent a lot of time at my house. She's spending a lot of time at my house. She's cool. I'm going to give you half of the card. I'm going I'm to do it. I, I'll do it. One time. I'm going to help with the car move. One time. That's it. Because we don't know people do have problems. But I'm telling you, Reginald Drake, one time. Half of it, not all of it. You need to get the rest of it from somebody else. If she said, well, Big Daddy, you know, pulling that, that sweetheart shit, I need all of it. I'm going to think on that one for a minute. Again, I'm going to give you half, but the full amount, I might. But one time in the whole relationship, we kicking it for five years. You're going to get a payment from me one time. Because if you come to me the second time, that means you, you're not managing your money right. You're buying bullshit. And that's the problem, young ladies. You buy bullshit to impress people, but you're not buying the stuff that you need. You're buying the stuff you want, not what you need. Your girl, Carly B, said this week, 
that lace fronts is what eight hundred dollars now. The full set back in the day was seventeen dollars. Now full set is a hundred. Hundred. If you men are stupid enough to spend a hundred dollars to get some woman nail done for a hundred dollars, and two weeks later you got a you a damn fool. If she wants that lace from them nails, let her ass pay for that herself. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it, brother. Brother Robert, I'm not doing it. Mm -mm. You want your nails done, you get it yourself. It's a hundred dollars. You get it yourself. These little young brothers, they'll do that for these little young women. Old woman ain't gonna spend that kind of money, but these little youngsters, 25, 30, 40 years old, they'll spend a hundred dollars. I'm not the one, but if you men are stupid enough to give a woman a hundred dollars to get their nails done, then you a fool. You are a damn fool. Now let me get off, get back to uh, this 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 conversation. You um, are you being used, or are their finances really that screwed up? that you gotta help out. You got bills of your own at your house. You got mortgage. You got lights. You got garbage. You got property tax. You got all those things going. Garbage every three months. You got a household, you got one. Cell phones now is expensive. So I don't care if you're a ball, I don't care how much money you got. If they come at you in six months, pay one bill, give them half. But the next month or two months or three months that I've had, no, you just up, you just money. You're a fool. And some men are stupid enough to pay for it every month because she gonna give them a little pussy and that's gonna how she gonna pay you back. It don't work that way. I'm an old GI, that, that shit don't impress me. Oh, big Daddy, help me pay my car and I give you some pussy. No. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. They don't have that, no. Them little young, stupid, ignorant ass youngsters to walk around with their pants hanging off their ass. They'll do that. But the OG smart, they're not going to do that. We, we, we invested in properties and stuff like that. We don't have time for the bullshit. You, you need to go get one of those brothers to go hang out at the pool hall. Gamble every day, want to be a little dope dealer. That's the catch you probably need to go to. But will you continually, men? And I want to see your comments from the men, seriously. Six months into the relationship, would you start dishing out cash and helping her with bills the sixth month, the seventh month, the eighth month, the ninth month? Six months into the relationship, now she's asking for some financial help, cell phone. Light bill, gas for a car, helping her with rent. Would you continue to cut a check, to go in your pocket and take care of this young lady behind because the coochie is good? Some men are stupid enough to do that. They're stupid. A couple of episodes before, I talked about how someone closer to me was tricked by some bullshit ass woman and they stupid ass went co signed for a car. Some men are weak that way. Why? I don't know. Behind pussy. Psst, come on. You can get pussy anywhere, man. Just because that's your woman and I ain't gonna give you none. Okay, man. Ain't no trip. Don't trip. I'm not gonna trip. You don't have to give me none. To see that little fine little chick to move across the street. She weighs at me every fucking day when she goes to the mailbox. So you don't have to give me a motherfucking thing. But again, some men are obsessed with pussy. So again, is it is it men that you're dumb, stupid, and ignorant that you will long? Um, write a check six months after you, you, you six months into the relationship she's asking would you would you write the check again I would do it one time it might be half but not the full amount now if she's spending a lot of time at your house she gets up 
and goes to work from her house. She gets off work, comes back to your house, and maybe goes to her house once a week, and you guys are really kicking it that way? Maybe. Maybe you'll write the whole check. Six months into the relationship, and she's spending a lot of time at your house. Even though she got her own spot, she's never, ever asked you for rent. She never asked you for a cell phone bill. She never asked you to pay a light bill. Even though she's been doing it, and she's been kicking it with you, but that six months, she said, hey, dude, look here. I need a little help with my car, though. Because of stuff I was moving around. Okay, one time, but it's going to be half. You got to get it from, from the other place. Now, is she emotionally connected with you? Okay. If she's not emotionally connected with you, why do it? Why would you do it? Hmm? So, again, sit one year into the relationship. But that six month, your female friends are saying, I need some help. Would you men give her all the money? Would you give her half of money? Or, or you would not give her any money? I want, to, I want the comments. I want you to really dig down into these comments, man. Would you pay a bill six months into the relationship? And again, is she emotionally connected with you? Is she spending a lot of time at your house during the week and getting up going to her house? Or is she just coming over your house on the weekends, maybe a Friday night for a little bit and get up and leave the next day, Sunday, Saturday morning? Is it that type of relationship? Is it like a, 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 a screw thing? Once a week, she just come by on Thursday or Wednesday and get up and go. Would you write that check? Would you give her some money, if I'm making any sense? Is she cooking for you at your house? Is she buying groceries and bringing it to your house? Is she coming to your house and cleaning up and you're just sitting back watching? Would you write the check? Six months into the relationship, she start asking for some money. Would you give it to her? Would you give her half of it? Again, how connected are you to? What is the relationship going to be in the future? Would you continually dish money out after six months of that relationship? Is she spending a lot of time at your house, man? Are you spending a lot of time at her house? Are you always at her family's house? Or she's always at your family house? Are you seeing her once a week, a couple of days a week? Six months into the relationship, she's asking for money. Come on, let me see some of these comments. Man, where is the relationship going? Where is it going for you to constantly write a check after six months of dating? She's always asking for some type of help. Is she using you? Or is, or is her funds that jacked up? She does not know how to manage her money and she's living paycheck to paycheck. A lot of people are doing it. But what was she doing before she met you? How was she paying her bills then? Was she always crying broke? Men, this is 2023. Don't be no fucking fools behind these women. Think with your head, not your this head. Think with your head. Because they'll give it to you, then they'll ask for something. Then if you don't ask for it, they won't give it to you. Because they're going to go get it from the other dude. And you can go get it from the other lady. Don't let the pussy overwhelm you to have you stupid in the head. And I got a cousin. Uh, and I'm going to say cousin. Got women all over. But now his woman is seeing somebody else. He want to go shoot the man because now the man fucking his woman, his wife, ex-wife, and he mad. That is the most stupidest shit in the world. 
she has moved on and he has moved on. But he want to go shoot somebody because somebody else is pet, making love to her. That, that, I, I had to look at it for a minute. I said, are you that stupid? You, God knows how many women you screwing, but you worried about what she doing. And now you mad. I'm getting off track. But again, anyway, man, I'm finna get out of here. Um, don't be stupid. Six months, a year of dating, six months into the relationship, and she's asking for money. Where is the relationship going? Is she emotionally connected with you? Mentally, uh, mentally connected with you? Uh, uh, meeting your needs? Taking care of your house when she's over there? Or are you spending time at her house a lot? Is she spending a lot of time at your house? Is she cleaning and cooking at your house? Are you cleaning and cooking at her house? Where is the relationship going? Again, men, would you write a check? The six month, the seven month, the eight month with your friend. Wake up, man. Don't be stupid. Email me at drakesplace63 at yahoo.com. That's drakesplace63 at yahoo.com. Email me. I want to hear what's, what, what you think. Six months into the relationship. Six months into the relationship, are you willing to write a check? Or will you write? Or will you give her half of the check? Where is the relationship in six months? How do you feel? What will you do? Think, man. Email me to let me know what the comments is. What 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 you think about this? What would you do? Or are you that man will say, okay, baby, I'm going to take care of it because you're my girl. Support my wine, you guys. So Reginald Drake's wine at ReginaldDrake'sCollections.com to order you a bottle of wine or a case of wine. Support me. Ask Kate's by the power. This is Drake's place, men. Would you start writing checks six months after the relationship? Because now she's asking for some financial help. What was she doing before she met you? Email me. Support the show. Support my wine. I'm out of here. Cake by the pound. Serving the Vallejo, San Francisco Bay Area. Give us a call. Anne's Cake by the pound. This has been... A production of Drake Television Studios, Vallejo, California.